Hey everyone, it's me again, Brittany, and I'm here today with a, another video for my 10 days of Grinchmas thing that I'm doing for Christmas or before Christmas. And this one is another installation of my online book shopping thing that I do because I, I can't spend money on books, but I still want to look at everything that's, you know, out and about and new. But this one is going to be specifically geared towards book shopping for the book lovers in your life. I'm book shopping so you don't have to or I'm showing you how to get to it yourself. So maybe if you have heard, this will jog your memory of what the book lover in your life really would like. So I'm pretty excited. I think this is gonna be fun. Uh, the first part of the video is all going to be just more of like recommendations for different kinds of books or cool things that you could get for the book lover in your life. This is gonna be only books. I do have another one coming up that's gonna be just a gift guide with anything that's not books, so stay tuned for that in case you want that. The last bit of this video, maybe we'll still do a little bit of browsing. I don't know, check the chapters. I'll make sure to, uh, to, to chapter this one out, you know? So before though we can get into any of that, I want to say a big thank you to the sponsor for today's video, which is Book of the Month. Book of the Month would actually probably be an excellent thing to also get the book lover in your life because it's actually a very popular and super fast growing online book subscription service that's main mission is to promote new and emerging authors and to help find readers books that they're going to love. And they do this by having their team go through hundreds of potential book picks every single month so that they can pick out the five best books for their readers so that you can spend less time researching and more time reading. And then every single month you get to pick one of those books from their five book picks so that it'll come in this lovely blue box straight to your door. And this is actually a risk-free service, meaning that if there's any month that let's say you don't like the book or you would just prefer to skip, you do actually have that option without any penalty to you and you can just move your credit on over to the next month. The titles are always new or early release hardcover titles, so you can really be sure that you're going to be discovering something new and hopefully something you adore, and you're doing this at the best price for a hardcover adult fiction novel. So right now, specifically for the holiday season. If you are a new subscriber and use the code JOLLY, you'll actually get your first box for only $5. So I recommend that code over my code in this instance, obviously. And really quick, I just wanted to show you the book picks for December itself, starting with, oh, the bookmark's extra cute this time. If you wish upon a star, you might read your TBR. Facts. Right inside the box is The Holiday Swap by Maggie Knox, and it says all they want for Christmas is a different life. So I'm expecting it's a romance. There's also Somebody's Daughter, which is a memoir by Ashley C. Ford, which is a debut author. Olga Dies Dreaming by... Z I looked it up and I found her website. So it's Olga Dies Dreaming by Sochil Gonzalez. And this is actually an early release title and also a debut author. There's also A History of Wild Places by Shay Earnshaw, which is marketed as a magical realism novel, which I think I love magical realism when done beautifully. And lastly, A Flicker in the Dark by Stacey Willingham, which is also a debut author and early release title, and it's a thriller. But not only do you have the option of just choosing the book picks every single month, you also have the option of adding on from any of the other books that Book of the Month has on their site, which include books that they've previously had in boxes, but also some other ones. And this month they actually sent over The Anthropocene Reviewed by John Green, which is essays on a human-centered planet. So if you or a book lover you know might be interested in Book of the Month, definitely check them out. I will leave them linked down below in my description bar, and don't forget to use the code JOLLY so that you can just get the first box for $5. Thank you to Book of the Month, and thank you to you guys, because obviously without you they would never have reached out to me in the first place. So without further ado, let's get back into online book shopping so you don't have to. <laughs> Okay, so that we have a lovely picture of Chachi. I'm gonna start first and foremost with Barnes & Noble because I feel like at least in the States it's the most accessible to most people and you might still be able to, you know, hop in stores if it's kind of last minute and you can't wait for shipping. So the first thing that I want to check out is specifically collector's editions of books. I'll be honest, every reader 
Every reader. Well, I shouldn't say every reader. Most readers in your life will appreciate a collector's edition of a book that they might already have and just love, or one that they don't have yet but also want to get. It's one of those things that is 100% a splurge, especially if you already own the book, and a lot of times people just won't do it because of that, and I think that for that reason alone, it is the best thing to get the reader in your life. So the first thing that pops up are obviously the Barnes & Noble collector's editions of books, which I think are actually really, really cool. I think most people think that they're pretty cool. The like soft cover ones are the least expensive, but they're still very pretty. But everyone knows, I think, they're hardcover collectible editions. And they're mostly classics, so you really can't go wrong in that category. There is likely a book on here that you might have heard them speak of or that they might already own, or even if you already know what kind of like aesthetic they like, that they might just appreciate aesthetically as long as I guess you don't get them an author that they despise. The children's collectibles are cool because they are also the very beautiful like foiled edge hardcover books, but they're so much less expensive than their normal ones. I mean, let's, let's look at 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Yeah, so this one is $15 for a hardcover, bonded leather, beautifully pictured novel. So if you know that they have a classic from their childhood that they love, you already got it. This is not even that expensive, so maybe you get them a couple. I forgot that their website sucks. <laughs> you know what? We're just going to Safari instead because I forgot how much I don't like the app. <laughs> At least on the iPad. Again, collectors, edition, return. So when you type that into Barnes & Noble, it automatically just shows you the Barnes & Noble collector's editions. So again, any of the children's classics are going to be the $15 ones, which is a great deal for how beautiful these books are. I feel like even if you don't know anything about the reader in your life, if they like dogs, <laughs> they'll like Call of the Wild. At least I would anyways. Then the flexi bound editions, these are the next least expensive option and they're still really cool. I actually have Frankenstein. It's up there though. I wouldn't, I'm not going to grab it currently, but it's like a soft flexi cover that isn't exactly a hardcover, but isn't exactly a paperback and still has really cool sprayed edges. And they're 15 bucks too. They're considered paperbacks. They're not paperbacks and they're really neat. They're great. I think that they're easier to read. So this is actually maybe even a more practical gift. If you know that the reader in your life doesn't love to just collect things for fun, like I do. Um, and then we have the pocket leather editions. This is cute. I mean, I guess you can't go wrong with these either, and they're not that expensive. It's like 10 bucks. Ooh, they have The Raven and other poems by Edgar Allan Poe. That would be fun. I always look at these and I never get them myself, so actually I would love to get it a book like that. Perhaps the reader in your life would as well. They tend to have these, or quite a number of them, in stock in stores. So if you're very last minute and you're nervous about shipping, you might be able to just hop into a Barnes & Noble, buy it for them there, and be done with it. The hardcovers are just so amazing. I, you can't go wrong. You really can't. So from there though, so we're gonna look up collectible editions. Oh, how did I look this up earlier? Special edition, collect collectible. Okay, why did it show up earlier, but not now? All right, let's try this one more time. Collector's edition, search harder. This is so weird because I swear earlier when I looked this up, um, this isn't all that popped up. I don't know what's happening right now. Barnes and Noble, stop it. Oh my God, this is gonna drive me nuts. Okay, well anyways, there are collector's editions that are not Barnes and Noble editions special editions maybe? No, that's not really what I wanted. Okay, I'm getting annoyed. Earlier when I looked this up, I really swear it didn't pop up at all with Barnes & Noble collectible editions. So I'm not sure what's happening now, but nice. Okay, so it actually did pop up with some of the special editions that the reader in your life might enjoy. Go through their books if you know what books they've enjoyed, and it's always worth checking to see if there's a special or collector's edition version of that book. This is kind of like a general overview of some of the ones that Barnes & Noble might have. They don't have them all though, obviously. But I mean, Invisible Life of Addie LaRue, this one is so popular. I mean, it's a very popular book that a lot of people enjoyed. I enjoyed it. And it is just like a special pretty version of it that maybe they wouldn't buy for themselves but still really enjoy. And it's $23.99 with I think like the B Barnes & Noble discount. You can always do buy online and pick up in store too if there's a discount online that you don't see in stores. Uh, and then we have, ooh, we have a, a classic. We have the A Court of Thrones and Roses Collector's Edition by Sarah J Mass. This 
is stunning. I have it. It has a slipcase. It's just like a beautiful cloth bound hardcover book and it's just, it, it's beautiful. It's beautifully done. There's also one for Throne of Glass. So where is it? Is it not here? Okay, I'm not seeing it right now, but we'll look it up on Amazon later because we still have to check out Amazon as well. So just keep in mind, Court of Thorns and Roses, 35 bucks here. Might be cheaper on Amazon. Then there's Dune, the graphic novel and this like special beautiful slipcase cover as well. So if you have a Dune fan in your life, because you know, the movie did just come out, they might enjoy this. It's the deluxe collector's edition and it's 50 bucks normally, $41.99 with the Barnes and Noble discount. I broke it. Oh no, our table. It's broken. Ooh, this is pretty stunning. I actually had a coworker show me this and I don't even know what it's about. Actually, he didn't even know what it was about either. So just goes to show how much a pretty book can affect you. But it's Cloud Cuckoo Land by Anthony Dewar and it's the B&N exclusive collector's edition and it's stunning, but it is also $50. Ah, there's Throne of Glass. Okay, so Throne of Glass collector's edition, typically 35 bucks, 31.49 with the 10% off. And it's just, it's similar to A Court of Thorns and Roses, just purple, also has the gold foiling on it, also has a slip case. It's just, it's high quality. It's of the highest caliber. Ooh, here's one that I actually don't own, but I have looked at and stared at and convinced myself out of buying multiple times because it's so pretty. And it's the Shadow and Bone Collector's Edition in the slipcase as well, 35 bucks. And this one's cool, like if you know that the person in your life watched the Shadow and Bone TV series on Netflix and enjoyed it, or maybe if they've they watched it because they read the books and enjoyed the books, this would be great for them. And kind of an easier one maybe to know if the person will want. So this one, not necessarily a good one for me, but there is a glass sword collector's edition, which I know that they also have a red queen, which is the first book in the series collector's edition by Victoria Aveyard. I never read those books, but a lot of people did. So if you see that in their library, if it seems well loved, there are collector's editions of that, as well as the Caraval, the first book in Caraval by Stephanie Garber, 35 bucks. Ooh, Cinder. I didn't even know that was here. So yeah, there's a fancy collector's edition with the like revamped covers for Cinder by Marissa Meyer. It has a slipcase. How fancy. I forgot that A Darker Shade of Magic, Barnes & Noble has their Barnes & Noble editions for all three books in the series. So if you have a V.E. Schwab fan in your life that owns the books, they actually might appreciate the Barnes & Noble editions as well. But yeah, that's kind of like my first idea for Barnes & Noble in general. The next place, Amazon, which we're already, we're currently in my like list of books. My bookish wish list has like pretty random things. So we're just going to go over some of the ones that I think are pretty cool in general. Okay, so first up we have this coloring book which is $7.90 and it's like a coloring horror novel and the cover really reminded me of Junji Ito. So if you know that they love horror manga, this might be really fun for them to color in. We have Fangs by Sarah Anderson. This book just is very stunning in general. Like I've seen the inside. It's like a graphic novel, but it's just done very beautifully and it's a like cloth bound hardcover which is all so really fun so I would check that out too um all of the all of these books are obviously good options too if you don't want to just go the collector's edition route uh but it's just harder when you may not know what your reader likes if they like romance I've been hearing really good things about the bromance book club by Lissa K Adams if they're really into Greek mythology. I added a few books that I've been looking at because I'm really into Greek mythology, so. Uh, like Troy by Stephen Fry. We have A Thousand Ships by Natalie Hain. The Woman of Troy by Pat Barker. And the cool thing about the Stephen Fry one is that he has like a whole collection of kind of like myth books. So if they like the first one, now you know what to get them for their birthday. And another popular romance book that might be good for the reader you like is One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. If the romance reader in your life likes uh, more explicit novels, like they're not just, they love romance, but they, they like the steamy, smutty romance. If you don't know what that means, look it up. I'm not going to explain it. But Penelope Douglas, you can't, you can go wrong, but you can't at the same time. Like it's, it, she's an acquired taste, but still great. <laughs> um, this is my specific wish list, which is why it's not like the most helpful and I'm going through it kind of quickly. But in general, coffee table books are never a bad option if you know something that they like 
as far as like an artist or they're really into fashion, if they're really into art, anything around those lines, you would likely find a coffee table book that will work for them. And they're really pricey. Well, not really. You can definitely find some that are not that pricey. But for the most part, there are a few of them that run on the higher price range. So they're things that people will not normally get for themselves, but they might really enjoy. So that's also a good thing to look into. Okay, now let's specifically look for some of those collector's editions that we'd checked out in Barnes & Noble. So the first one, we already have these at a better price than Barnes & Noble. Throne of Gloss and A Court of Thorns and Roses are both at $28.69 or $28.49, $28.69. They're great options. Also, if there is a Sarah J Mass lover in your life, you might want to pre-order them. The newest book in the Crescent City duology, or not duology, series, but that might be for those of you that have a lot more knowledge on the reader in your life, like if you already know that they didn't, you know? So another great option for like classics that are very beautiful, very well loved overall are the Penguin Clothbound classics. They are all classic books, obviously, that are just like stunning hardcovers without like any like slip cover. They're just cloth bound books that have foiling on them or like embossed painting on them. I don't really know how to describe it, but they're very, very beautiful. And they're a little bit, you know, of a splurge for people. So again, this is one of those fun things that if you already know that they like a classic or maybe they have multiple editions of one that you see in their library and they don't have this one yet, this could be a great option. Besides the Shadow and Bone collector's editions, there are also Six of Crows, Six of Collectors, oh my gosh, no Brittany, Six of Crows collector's edition, and they also have Crooked Kingdom, so the whole duology right there, and they're beautiful. Also cloth-bound hardcovers, I don't know if you can tell there's a trend for the kinds of collector's editions I love, but cloth-bound hardcovers are high up on the list. They are beautiful, stunning, amazing. There's also one for Shadow and Bone, so you know, you can get them all three if you already know that they like those things. And if you watch the show together, maybe that might be nice. Obviously a good option is always going to be like subscriptions maybe like that they have already shown interest in. If they are a, a young adult reader, if they tend to really like edge toward that side, then a subscription to really any book subscription service might be fun for them. Maybe even just like one month or three months, something along those lines. If they like to have like bookish uh, things along with their books that they love, this would be great. I have like four that I would recommend. So there's Illumicrate, which stunning, stunning books, and they always have like special editions of whatever book is going to be in their book box for that month. Then we have Fairy Loot. So I'm just saying USA and Canada because that's where I am, but Fairy Loot is also amazing at doing collectors or special editions of whatever book is going to be in their book box for that month. I love Fairy Loot, so this is definitely one of those fun things that a bookish person might enjoy as well as Owl Crate. Same deal, all of these book subscription boxes boxes tend to do like new or early release titles and then they have like a lot of like bookish like things that go along with it like merchandise that might be fun that follows the theme for that month. The only reason I'm recommending these ones are because they're ones that I've already actually tried out and so I know that their quality is amazing and that you know you're getting a good bang for your buck. So the last one is going to be Fay Crate. I really enjoyed Fay Crate while I was subscribed to them and there's this fun too because they also do like different versions of the book subscription box that you can subscribe to. So like there's a version with a t-shirt. So if there's someone that maybe likes to wear their bookish stuff, this one's going to be a great option. Like running out of ideas, guys. I thought I was a bookish person, but now I'm kind of losing steam. Other places obviously that you can check are going to be like Waterstones. Waterstones has some pretty cool and amazing collector's editions, but the reason I didn't want to talk about this one first is because they tend to really be limited as far as like their collector's stuff goes. A lot of the times like the editions that they come out with, which are Waterstones exclu exclusive editions, will not be sold once they sell out. So if you don't kind of jump on the bandwagon or know exactly what they want, you might not be able to find some of the things, but they also have some of the most beautiful special editions in my opinion. Ooh, look, they have an area that called that's called gift books. The other reason that I didn't talk about this one first is because they are a UK company, so it's gonna take some time to get to the US if you are shopping from the US. So it, I don't know if it'll get here on time for Christmas anymore. Ooh, they have a signed edition of Ariadne by Jennifer Saint. And it's pretty. Not me starting to do my online book shopping where I'm like, ooh, I would like this and this and this and this. That's kind of what these videos tend to be. Oh my gosh, is this called what cats want? What do they want? Tell me, I wanna know. 
this is just, this would be fun to look through. Again, this is actually perfect if you obviously live in the UK or already had a plan and maybe did this before Christmas. So it would arrive in time if you're from the US. But lastly, another one that's going to take quite a while to get to you if you haven't already ordered it and probably will not get here in time for Christmas at this point in the US is Book Depository. Um, but Book Depository is amazing because it is free shipping and it's international. So this is a good place to also look for collectors and special editions if maybe you're shopping from outside the US or need some more options. Um, or even if you're shopping from in the US and then you just know that there's a UK version of a book that your book lover wants, this is the site to get it at. And maybe just if you find it and it's not gonna get here in time, just print out the receipt. I'm sure they'll appreciate it whenever it does come. All right, last but not least, I do actually have a pretty fun Pinterest board filled with some like random books that I've seen and think people would enjoy. So let's do it. This I actually just thought looked really cool. This is like a, a, a weird book. I'm assuming it's a coffee table book, but we're gonna move on from that. This is an artist's coloring book. If you know someone that loves the Nevernight series. I, I would pull them out, but they're under my other things. If you know someone that likes the Nevernight series and maybe already has the UK covers of them, you would know right away what they look like. Here, let me show you. And this is that cover. So if you see this on their shelves, they will likely really enjoy this coloring book because this is actually the artist that does the artwork for J. Kristoff for those books. So that would be a really cool and neat gift idea. He has a few of those coloring books, so it's not just that one, but that's the one that I that was the prettiest. If you have a Taylor Swift lover in your life, <laughs> maybe one that was blasting all too well ever since it came out with Taylor's version, um, there is a notebook that looks like the book from the music video from All Too Well, and this would be just, just a fun thing. It's not a real book, but it is, you know, a fake real book. For the drink lover in your life, unofficial Disney Parks drink recipe. This is also pretty niche if they are a Disney alcoholic. No, no. <laughs> if they are a Disney lover and also like alcoholic beverages, this would be fun. These are those other pretty books by Stephen Fry that are very mythology based. This is kind of where it gets a little goofy. Um, so we have Cat Astrology, sold by Urban Outfitters. This, again, pretty niche. If you have a cat lover and or a zodiac person that loves astrology in your life, this is going to be that book for them. You're welcome. <laughs> Another Junji Ito pick. This one is not a good cover of it. Here, let's click on it. So this is Twisted Visions. It's more of like a coffee table book, but again, if you know someone that maybe really likes horror or you already know likes Junji Ito's work with his horror mangas, this would be really cool. It's obviously the coffee table version of his books. Well, of his art, filled with his art. And again, for the astrology lover in your life, these are... Oh, there's like none left, so I'm glad I, I checked. Unless you find this in stores, there's only Aries currently on the website. So if you have an Aries in your life, this is great, but it's just an astrology book that has like more in-depth analysis of astrology. One last book recommendation for the astrology person in your life. This is pretty cool. There is a company that does birthday like books. So like it goes really in-depth to the entire chart. This is pretty pricey, but if you have an astrology person in your life, they would love this. I mean, you basically put in their actual birthday, so you might have to do some digging, ask the mom for what, you know, their time of birth is as well, because that's important. And you can get them this book and it'll just have everything about them and like go really in depth into their chart and their natal chart and all the fun stuff that goes along with it. Um, I feel like that's all that there really is to talk about. I was going to do some just like regular online shopping, but now I'm kind of getting all tuckered out. So I guess that's really all we did. I did kind of do online shopping too, you know? Ah, this video was a little chaotic, but it is supposed to be more of like an idea-based video, not with specific recommendations, though there were some of those as well. And I do hope that this kind of gives you maybe a more broad idea of what kind of books you might be able to get for a book lover in your life. How many times did I say that? Please do not take a shot every single time I did because you will be wasted like by the end of this video. I can tell. I can tell. So uh, yeah, I hope that this helped you out. Again, I wanted it to be more general because everyone's reading tastes can differ so, so much. So it has more to do with like giving you some ideas and a basis to jump off from. And I feel like with everything we did cover, you'll likely find something for them unless you do not know them at all. And in that case, uh, I feel like there was still some pretty stuff in there. So a coffee table book never hurts, you know? Never hurts. Other than that... <laughs> 
Oh, I lost all my energy. Okay, so besides that, stay tuned. Again, I'm going to be doing a gift guide with actual just like general objects, some bookish potentially, but mostly like just a good, well-rounded gift list of things that at least I would enjoy getting as gifts, but I will try to make it more neutral so that anyone might enjoy it, not just me. So that's gonna be it for this video today, guys. I hope you're having a lovely day. Thank you again to Book of the Month, and if you want to check them out, don't forget to look down below in my description bar, follow the link, use code JOLLY, and maybe that can be your, your gift to your, your book lover. Oh my gosh, I said it again. I feel like you can't go wrong with the book subscription service. And the cool thing about Book of the Month, again, is that it is just the book versus, like, book plus a whole bunch of other, like, knick-knacky stuff. So if you have someone that's more of, like, a minimalist, probably that route versus the other ones. So that's gonna be it for this video. Happy, happy Grinchmas from your local Grinch, who is still trying to be festive with her green cardigan. Look at that. I have no tree up. We have no holiday decorations up. I'm more Grinchy this year than maybe any other year before, but we're doing good. We're doing Grinchmas. Bye!